Hey guys, Sam here, and uh, I'm in the middle of the bush right now, in case you couldn't tell. Um, which can only mean one thing. Either I'm very lost, or I'm going hunting. And thankfully it's, it's option two today. I'm not lost yet. Um, so yes, I am going hunting. I'm in the middle of my usual spot, where I go. Um, and yeah, I've got my um, new mount or DIY new GoPro mount on my gun. Um, if you're following the NZ Chronicles Instagram, you would have seen that. Um, so if you're not following the Instagram, go have a look at our uh, have a look at my Instagram. It's um yeah, I'll link it down in the description and stuff. Anyway, so yes, I'm in the bush and I'm going to do some hunting. Um, I actually had a bit of excitement about after like maybe 15 minutes of actually getting in the bush and walking. I've never seen anything that close, really. I've seen like one deer the first ever time I came here like maybe 10 minutes away from where I am now this is like almost in the proper hunting spot um, but yeah I'd only been walking in the bush for like 15 minutes and then I see a fellow a fellow deer I think it might have been a female not too sure on the left hand side of the track and obviously I'm in the middle of the track and it didn't see me um, it must have I don't know it must have heard me I reckon because it didn't look at me or anything or like bolt it kind of just started trotting and it trotted right in front of me, right across the track. But the track went forward and then it curved, and it curved around a big ass tree, and that's where the fella crossed, right behind the tree. So it would have been a perfect broadside like angle, but the tree was in the way. So then it went up into the bush and turned away from me, and I had my gun up like looking at it, but I could only see its butt, and I didn't want to shoot it up the butt. Um, I don't know, I just don't like doing that. I would, I prefer, you know, I prefer to wait for a more ethical shot rather than up the ass because, you know, it could run away and die slowly or, you know, not really keen on those Texas heart shots, as they're called. Um, so, yeah, I didn't take that shot and then I tried making, like, noises to get for it to maybe look at me or turn around, but it didn't stop. It just kind of went and disappeared into the, into the supplejack. Which sucks. I don't know if I was filming with the camera at the time, but I don't know if you'd be able to see anything. The bush is real thick. Um, so yeah, bit of excitement, bit of a shame, but um, hey, I'm not even in the proper hunting spot yet, so who knows what'll happen. It's real windy, which is a bit of a shame. Um, but the wind's going that way, and I'm going that way, so that's good, at least. Um, but it does make everything real noisy. Um, and you have like leaves and stuff falling which sounds like footsteps and you don't know what what's you know you don't know what's making noise um, but at the same time same for the actual animals in there you know it's a lot noisier so I have a little bit more leeway I guess but uh, yeah I'm just gonna go into the bush and see what happens No way. No bloody way. Oh my god, that is awesome.
Well, that happened fast. <laughs> that is so awesome. I was coming along here, just along there, and I was literally, I kid you not, I was so close to just to, and just walking down in that direction, just walking down there, down where the track keeps going. But I was like, ah, oh, and I don't know, I just turned to the side along this little track. I've walked down here before and not really seen anything, and then I couldn't believe it. There was this dude here. This little, um, it'll be a yearling, or younger than that. You know, not even a year old, I reckon. She's pretty small. Oh, it might be a yearling. I don't know. Either way, she's not with mum. Um, so... That was awesome though. Yeah, it just came and she didn't even see me. She was just chilling there eating. Um, I'm so surprised she didn't see me. She was facing. I was standing like just between those two trees there. Or maybe to the, I don't know where. I was standing just there and the, she was coming this way looking at me. I really hope you can see that on the camera. And then, because she was so small, she uh, most, I couldn't see her head or anything. She was standing right here. Or actually probably just there actually. Um, but yeah, managed to see her shoulder and boom. Got it. I am so stoked. That is absolutely awesome. This is my first actual wild, proper wild deer. That is so sick. I am so happy. Awesome colour, melanistic. Um, that's the colour variation. Pretty skinny though, I'm not gonna lie. Like, she's like missing skin. Oh, not missing skin, missing fur along there. I reckon, that was me, <laughs> I reckon I'm gonna, I'll probably gut her and carry her out. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to hang her, we're not gonna get a whole bunch of meat out of her, but we'll definitely get some. Definitely like the, the back steaks and stuff, but yeah, far out, you can feel her ribs, skinny as I am. I am so stoked. That also means this is gonna be quite a short video, actually, which is a little bit of a shame, but hey, got what I came for. So yeah, I'll just gut her and then uh, start carrying her out and walking back to the car, I guess. Alrighty, deer has been decapitated and gutted over there. That's going to be a, a feast for one lucky pig who come along probably in like an hour or so, knowing how many bloody pigs are in this place. But yes, oh my god, I'm still so pumped. I was like, I don't know, I just had a feeling. You know, like w seeing that deer, um, the first deer um, that was on like the main track was a like, real, like, this morning I was like real tired because I woke up at five in the morning. And, you know, like, walking through the bush and stuff, I was like, eh, what am I doing here? Um, and then, yeah, I saw that deer, picked everything up, I was like, oh, okay. Um, <laughs> things that, you know, that, that's right, that's why I'm here. Um, and then, yeah, this girl comes along, she's real skinny. Not, you know, the best condition. I mean, I've had a look at the liver and stuff, I actually took a bite out of the liver. Because people told me to. It was actually a deer that I, like, like I don't know. Yeah, a bit of a deer from like the start of last year almost and that was when I thought I you know I was like oh yeah surely I'll, I'll shoot a deer soon but no this is literally the first deer I've ever shot here um so yeah, I mean I've shot a couple of pigs and but that's literally the first deer so congratulations <laughs> but um yeah she's real skinny but she's not she's not sick I was gonna take the heart um take it home cook it up and try it but um the heart doesn't exist anymore I, I somehow managed to hit it perfectly because there was like, I like looking at it, I won't show on the camera because YouTube won't like that, but um, there was like the two lungs which were intact and then pieces of flesh here and there, but I absolutely obliterated the heart. The, the front leg of this thing is like hanging on, like I probably could have gutted it just by reaching in the exit wound and pulling everything out. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to wrap it around the back of my shoulders I reckon and uh, head off back to the car. Actually, <laughs> one last thought, well, you can't even like see my bag, the camo works so well. Um, what I'm gonna do, I brought this, just in case this uh, situation would arise. Not my car keys, I'd need those too. But this thing, I found it in the garage. I'm pretty sure it's a pool floaty. But what I'm going to do is put it around. I think it's got a hole in the middle of it. I bloody hope so. It does not. Okay. But basically, yeah, the point is it's bright orange. So, I mean, because this place is real close to a population and whatnot. Um, so there might be a, 
you know, crazy local or something who'll hear me crashing through the bushes. I'm not, I don't need to be quiet anymore. Um, and he'll see a deer and shoot it. So I'm going to put a bright orange thing on there. I'll just tie it with some rope. And, uh, yeah, then start heading back. Oh, alrighty. I've got blood dripping on me already. I can already feel it going down my arms, but uh, let's go, guys. I don't even know if you can see me on the camera. You're probably just staring at my feet and the deer's feet, but uh, let's go. Oh. I'm using my gun <laughs> as a walking stick and I'm using the GoPro mounted to the bottom of the gun as, I don't know, a different angle of shot. It probably looks really weird. <laughs> oh my god, slogging this deer up this hill is uh, pretty tiring. Definitely test my fitness and I've got this deer's butt pressed up against my face constantly. Which, as fun as it sounds, isn't actually that amazing. <laughs> it's alright though. Um, up this hill another 100 metres or so. Then I'm on the main track and it's all downhill from there. Oh, never have I ever been happier to hear that saying before. Oh, finally, I'm back on the main track, my goodness. I am so sweaty and also so very bloody. Um, the deer's there. We survived the walk through the bush. Um, I actually, um, I really want. Some <laughs> I kind of hope that you know some people, some normal civilians who don't hunt, are coming for a nice walk up along the track. I'm just going to walk past them with this dead deer over my shoulder. Like, hey guys, how's it going? <laughs> oh man. But yes, unfortunately, that means there is nothing left to hunt and film so that is the end of this video so thank you very much for watching guys um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video I've definitely enjoyed hunting and filming it for you and uh, yeah I will see you in the next video see you later guys